It's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Hey, it's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Thanks for stopping by the YouTube channel. Recently, uh, I think it was one or two weeks ago, I had a user pop on and ask me, hey, um, can you check out this particular brand of pencil? And I like to do that when I'm asked. If I can afford it, I will. Um, the YouTube user's name was Michelle Carmen. And Michelle, thanks for posting and thanks for asking for me to review these pencils. The name of the pencil, and I'm, I'm not Dutch, I might struggle a little bit with the, the pronunciation, but I believe it's Brunzeel Sakura Design Pencil. So Brunzeel which is in the, from the Netherlands, Dutch, I believe, and Sakura. Um, so I bought these pencils for about $49 was the best price I could find. They came in a 24-pack, and um, this is in the really um, stepped-up, high-market type packaging, if you will. Um, so these little drawers pull out to reveal the pencils that you get in the set, and I'll show you those here as I tip this down. All right, so boom, bam, right there. These pencils come neatly tight, ta tucked into their little um, homes here with these uh, foam um, dividers, and as you can see, they're all laid out in there nice and tight. Um, so. The colors you get here are a light flesh, a flesh, uh, candy pink, carmine, vermilion, uh, permanent orange, a Naples yellow, a lemon yellow, a light green, a dark green, an emerald green, a white, a red violet, a dark violet, a Prussian blue, a cobalt blue, a light blue, a light gray, an olive green, a yellow ochre, a sanguine, um, Havana brown, mid brown and a black yep right there now let's talk about just the characteristics of the pencils themselves for a second here and pull this drawer out a little bit all right flip this up okay here we go it says holland on the pencil we'll talk about that in a second and then if you turn it over it says it's a design pencil by brunzeel sakura 8805 pencil number 51 but it doesn't have the color actually on it it's got this barcode but the color you're gonna have to look up on your color code sheet right here so if you wanted to know what for example 51 was you'd have to go here right here and see that color number 51 is light blue Okay, so fair enough. Uh, I, if I were talking to Brunzeel, I'd say, hey, put the name of the color on the pencil. It's just easier because this isn't going to stick around too long. This is probably going to get tossed by most people, and then I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing if I want to know, the, you know, if I, if I have a reason. I'll say, for instance, I'm, uh, you know, colorblind, or I don't have a lot of color perception. I'm going to have to go to the internet or look, look around and hunt for that. It's just Hey, you're using this ink already. Stamp it on there. Let people know what the color is. Okay, so back to this Holland thing right here, right? So these are sort of, uh, what, uh, Netherlands Dutch type pencils. And that's what I thought I was ordering when I ordered these off the internet. So I went to the, to the place and it said, hey, you know, handcrafted, high quality Dutch pencils. But when you look back here in the small, small print, You'll see it says made in China, designed and produced under the guidance of Brunzeel Sakura, right? Under the guidance of. Well, that's not the same thing. And um, if I'm going to pay 50 bucks for a box of pencils, 24 pencils, that's roughly $2 a pencil on sale. Um, I'm thinking, you know what? I, I want it to be made in the Netherlands. Because I, 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 I know they're paying like pennies on the dollar for the Chinese to manufacture these pencils. And my thing is, um, when I put these to the quality test, and we'll talk about the individual characteristics of this pencil in a second, um, they, they are above average, um, and for Chinese pencils, very good quality. But 
when when compared against other high quality pencils of a similarly priced um, line, not so good. Uh, you know, not there. So take a Faber Castell Polychromos or a Karen Dosh uh, pencil or or even some of the Eastern manufacturer uh, fat manufactured pencils. Um, not there yet with these. They're they're good, but they're just you know above just slightly above average on the quality scale. Um, so that's where I'd say um, it's a little misleading, and um, uh, you know, it's I, I I just don't like it when they put in small print. You know, it's like it's kind of like Apple products. You know, it's like hey, made in the USA, no, made in China. Apple supervises their manufacturing, but they're still made in, in China. I like to see stuff crafted in the home country of the of the origin or manufacturer. So, I mean, if it was a Chinese pencil and they said, hey, we're a high-quality Chinese pencil, I'm going to try them out. I'm going to compare them against the quality of other pencils made throughout the world, and then I'm going to give you my honest opinion on that. But um, in this case, um, I'm going to pull another pencil here. Again, just, just my issue with it. Um, right here, a couple of things I can say about the pencils that was done to save a few, a few bucks, maybe. For one thing, the barrel of the pencil... The casing, as it's called, it is made of cedar, which is very nice, but it's also thinner. There's less cedar casing here, okay? Then most of the higher end quality pencils are going to be thicker in diameter than this particular pencil. The other thing is, they just shave a little bit off that core lead by making it a 3.7 millimeter core versus a 3.8 or a 3.9 millimeter core in some cases. So, you know, when you talk about a per pencil cost, maybe the savings is minuscule, even negligible, but when you're producing uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pencils, um, that cost adds up and maybe you're able to save even more money. Well, then to me, you should pass that savings on to your customer and charge uh, less than you would for a premium pencil. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the individual um, performance characteristics of each of the pencils. First of all, as I do with every pencil, I try to go through each and every color, mark it down, um, see how it flows out of the end of the pencil. Does it perform well? Does it lay down well? How does it erase? How does it blend? In this case, I did, did just that with, um, with most of the pencils. I laid down the color in all the pencils, but a few of them I used to do some sketches, and we'll talk about that, as well as the, pro, as the pros and cons of this pencil. Here we go. All right. So, um, as you can see, here's a couple of sketches I did. There's a little bus, um, Greyhound bus, and just this little portrait. Um, so, again, just a few statistics. 3.7 millimeter lead, cedar casing, made in China. Some of the pros were the color was good. It laid down good color. I like the color. I don't know how light fast the pencil is, so how long will it hold up under under light, but the color came out quite good, um, and the application was smooth. It had good erasability. I erased some in here, you can see. Um, and uh, the okay blendability, I mean, I didn't do a ton of blending, but I did a bit here and here in this portrait. And then good layering. I think that's where this pencil shines in its, in ability, its ability to layer. Um, the leads in some colors break apart a little bit easier. Like I noticed when I was sharpening a couple of leads in a couple of the colors, they just kind of chipped apart and fell away. Um, expensive for Chinese-made pencils. I mentioned that earlier. Um, the performance is just above average. So for the price you're going to pay for these pencils, that's that's a concern. Um, they do have the smaller leads and the thinner pencil casing, as mentioned. But overall, they're good, not bad pencils at all. It's just that um, I would expect more for the price point and the quality. All right. Well, listen, um, thanks again to um, Michelle Carmen for uh, requesting this review of the Brunzeal Sakura pencil. And... Um, and thanks you for and thank you for checking it out. And don't forget to check out Owings Art. That's O W I N G S A R T dot com, where I put up drawings and art I do with uh, products and uh, uh, pencils and paper I review right here. All right, thanks for watching and happy Mother's Day. Take care. Bye bye.